footage has been circulated widely on uh, social media today of an incident uh, involving uh, police officers and a 17-year-old boy. Uh, I'm advised by way of brief background that uh, around 5pm yesterday police officers from the Surrey Hills Police Area Command attended the vicinity of Ward Park at Surrey Hills. Um, as you've seen uh, from the footage, which I know that you've all seen, um, uh, police officers uh, engaged in dialogue with a 17-year-old male who was in the company of four other males. During the course of that uh, dialogue, um, an officer has approached uh, the 17-year-old male and has uh, effected an arrest of the male by using a leg sweep, placing him onto the ground. Uh, that uh, male was conveyed to the Surrey Hills Police Station where uh, his mother attended a short time later. Now, the male complained of soreness to the face and the knee and was conveyed to St Vincent's Hospital where he was provided with treatment and then later released. Um, again, as uh, you're all aware, the footage has been circulated widely via social and mainstream media. Um, as a result of that, um, it's come to the attention of uh, myself as the region commander and others, and a independent investigation has been commenced by our Professional Standards Command. Uh, that investigation will be conducted uh, thoroughly and openly. Now, of course, uh, we're all aware of incidents that have uh, taken place in the United States and other parts of the world and we're very aware of the sensitivities around uh, what's occurring overseas. However, as the, the region commander here, am I concerned about what I've seen in that footage? Absolutely I am concerned, but I'm equally concerned about others who may use this footage to inflame it and turn it into something that it's not. What we need to do is to let the investigation take its course. Uh, it'll be conducted, as I said, independently by the Professional Standards Command, and we'll get to the the circumstances, the bottom of what's happened and we'll continue to work with the community as we always do uh, until we get to the bottom of what's happened. So I'm happy to take any questions. Yep. Those things come up all the time, as you know, with critical incident investigations. The Professional Standards Command um, have been engaged to conduct this investigation. As you know, uh, the Law Enforcement Conduct Condition will be monitoring the investigation as they always do. So uh, I have all the confidence in the world that the Professional Standards Command will get to the bottom of what's occurred and, and unravel the circumstances around what's happening. But as I said, as I said, um, as the Region Commander, um, is this concerning for me? Absolutely it is. We've got great relationships with the community here. We don't want anything to impinge on those relationships, but I'm equally concerned about people who may want to use this footage to turn it into something it's not. Given the footage is so good, it's so widely, you have those concerns about inflating intentions. Why wasn't the officer just stood out like Well, the officer has been uh, placed on restricted duties, I can tell you that right now. So he's not in the workplace, but we need to, uh, you know, in the fairness to everyone involved in this, get to the bottom of it and let the, the investigation take its course. Well, for the time being, until we get to the, uh, the bottom of it, um, for the time being, that's the case. So he'll be placed on restricted duties, which he has been, I should say. Uh, and again, we just need to let this investigation take its course. Just a 